What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is the installation on my GTS carbon fiber wing. Obviously you guys know that because you see in the thumbnail, in the title, and from the last video, the vlog that we went to LA and got the wing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I just uploaded it like 20 minutes ago, so I'm not sure how it's doing, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen that fun vlog, go check it out. It was my last video. I'll put it up here on the screen right here. Go check it out. It was a really fun video. But we are starting off today's video with some bad news. Unfortunately, Ah, my second GT4 lip has been sent to heaven by a construction road site. If you guys know those metal plates they put down over the holes on the road, they're like this thick. Well, this one was like this thick and I had no choice and I slammed into it and well, it's broken. Well, there's the destruction. I'm Honestly, I'm pretty bummed, man. I gotta take pictures like this so you can see that part of it. Nope, it still, it still looks bad. <laughs> Just broke it, man. <sighs> well, I guess that maybe will be it. No, you guys don't want to see another video. I already have two videos up of installing a GT4 lip. Let's just install this wing. It's going to be sick. It's going to look so sick on the back of the car. So as you guys saw last video, or if you didn't watch last video, here's the wing. Full carbon fiber replica GT4 lip or GTS lip. Oh my God, see? My mind's on that. <laughs> my mind is on that front lip that I broke replica GTS wing, obviously because the real one is like $2,500 from BMW, but I can't afford that, so I'll just buy the replica one. It looks just as good. Got the um, the wing mount or the wing base plate, so you want to call them. There it is. Boom, that's all we got, but the first order of business is over here. We got to take all of these out, so we got to pop these things out, which is literally just get a pry tool, pop mount. This whole thing should come off because that's how we're going to connect the base plates right here through the trunk, through here. So this has to come off, so let's take it off right now. So there it is mocked up. Obviously, no bolts or anything, but damn, that looks super sweet. So now we're gonna try to figure out where the perfect way, or perf where to mount it perfectly at, so I'll check it back in with you guys in one sec. So right now we're getting it perfectly lined up in the middle wise. So we're going from this edge right here to the bottom of the base plate on each side. And it's roughly about seven and seven eighths. So it's perfect right now in the middle. That's where we're at now. Now we're gonna figure out from here to here where we want it. And I think that's where it's pretty much gonna go right there. But we'll figure it out and I'll check back with you guys. All right, so that's where we have it and that's where it's gonna be right there. So from this outside edge to right where the wing and the outside edge right there, seven and seven eighths, if you guys are curious. Same from this outside edge to right there, seven and seven eighths, and then from here, this base plate to the back of the M Performance wing is four and a half inches on both sides, and that's what we're looking like. So we're gonna tape over, and then we're gonna start drilling, and I'll show you guys that, but man, this thing is looking super sick. So now we do the wing off, put this layer blue where the holes are gonna go, and now we're gonna find out where the holes exactly go, and I'll show you what we're doing. I'm hooking the front, yeah, it's uh, 13 sixteenths and two and a half. Two and a half, okay. 13 sixteenths and two and a half. See if it's the same on this one. Probably the same. 13 sixteenths and, yeah, it's like two and a half plus. Cool. And then you just do the same one that, you just make a hole or a mark? I'll make a little dot. Cool. And how do you know if it's centered or not? You just, let's say, right here, here's, I'm gonna hold it on one. Yeah. One, one. There's 13 sixteenths. Yeah. And then two and a half. Well, since I'm holding on one, it's three and a half. But it was, three, it was two and a half plus. Yeah. Okay. You cool. agree? Yeah. So there's that. And same on this side. And then we'll do the same thing with the center. Burn an inch. Make a cross. And there it is. Burn an inch. There's 13 sixteenths. Mm -hmm. And then. Three and a half. Plus, just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And if, you, if you guys thought it was two and a half, he added an extra inch, if that made sense, if you guys saw the tape measure. So that's the only reason why it's three and a half. Yeah, because it's hard. This is inaccurate because it moves. Yeah, exactly. So we, he started at the one instead of this because it moves. Okay, so let's just double check this. In between, Yeah. it's one and 11 sixteenths. In See between, that? yeah, one, 11, one and 11 sixteenths. Same thing there. We're in the Cool. Then we go check over here. One, one, uh, 
Yeah, it's almost it's almost three quarters. It's almost yeah. one and three quarters. So we'll just change that. Yeah, this this one is a little different. A little different. What's yeah? This is like this is like a God. This is yeah. This is at least one and three quarters. Yeah, it's about the same. One and three quarters. Oh yeah, one and three quarters. Cool. So we'll just just go like a thirty seconds each way. It's all right. All right, sweet. Okay, now now the from the inside out, right? To find the center. So we're just gonna hold it up. We're gonna burn an inch. That looks like three eighths of an inch. Burn an inch. Yeah, it's three eighths of an inch. Yep. Two. See what I'm saying? And these have a little bit of, of movement, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, they do. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so from the inside out. Three eighths of an inch. <laughs> Inside, out. There's three eighths. And there it is exactly. Look across. Three eighths. Yeah. Perfect crosses. That's what we're gonna drill through, and uh, it'll be perfect. I'm trying to make this as simple as it can be, so you guys can follow along if you're doing the same thing. So. It's been pretty simple, pretty much line it up. You guys saw earlier, made it even on both sides. And then we just measured the holes uh, from here to here to make them perfectly on the tape. People, what they do, they'll put like a little bit of ink on here and they'll lay it down. But the ink is so inaccurate, I think that's not the really right way to do it. I think it's the right way to do it is measure this and find the actual middle of the holes, which is what we did. So now come the drill bits and we're gonna start drilling through the trunk, which is pretty nerve wracking, but Let's do it. All right, here comes a moment of true <laughs> drilling through my car. <laughs> that hurts. Let's open it up and check it out. All right, hole number two. Okay, go through two, yeah, two layers one. now. Bam. And that's where we ended up. And then we could just make this a little bit bigger so we can put the nut in it, there. If so it doesn't flat. sit flat, yeah. Yeah, if it doesn't sit flat. Perfect. Yeah, actually, it might sit flat enough. Whew. All right, this side, let's do it. You got the longer bolt? Yeah, they're all right there. So we got the holes all perfectly drilled out. Now we're going to put the base plate on. And, um, okay, so see, this one here goes through there, yeah. So I'm going to push it out a little bit, push it through. It's almost there, you gotta make it angle a little more. There you go. You're on right now. Yeah. Just gonna make it slug for now. Yeah. Cause the bottom one, okay? Yeah. There might be a little bit. Oh, well, these are uh, bolts, these ones. Yeah, they're different. Okay, and let's see this top one and this one. Cool. Like so if you guys get what we're doing, we're put, just putting the bolts through here, into here. I'm gonna put the camera down because I need two people, so check back with you in a sec. All right, we got the base plates done, or the wing stands, whatever you wanna call them on tight now let's just throw the wing on and see how she looks Whew, this wing is on and it looks so sick you guys just saw a little glimpse of it let me show you guys damn boy dude this looks so good it honestly looks way better than i thought Whew. if you guys see pictures or on video that you're watching right now it looks way better in person like it literally dude in person, the GTS wings look 10 times better. But man, that looks good. So, now that it's on, it's on so tight, dude, you can barely move this thing. On super, super tight. Two things going on now. One, do I take this off? Honestly, I think I'm gonna leave it on right now until I get the smaller one because I don't wanna have a fully naked trunk. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad with a double wing. Obviously, I don't prefer it, but I'm just gonna leave it on right now as it is. And second of all, these end um, bolts are a little bit rusty because obviously we got this wing second hand. So I think I'm gonna take these out, go to the hardware store, and get nice black ones. But besides that, this thing looks so sick, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy with it, dude. I'm honestly really happy with it. So. I'll show you guys, the adjustment wise, right here, it's on the third from the bottom. So if I go one more down here, uh, it'll be super, super aggressive. Right now it's in like the medium aggressive. And then here it's like maybe 
Probably Button Willow for this one, not much downforce. And then this last one just doesn't look that good, so it's really flat and looks kind of ugly. So right now I kind of wanted to put in one of the more aggressive settings. And dude, it looks so good. Like genuinely, it's like a genuine smile. Like I don't think, I don't think a modification has made me like this happy in a while. Look at that, dude. It looks so much better in person, I'm telling you guys. If you guys see an M3 in person, the GTS wing looks so much better. But right now, I'm gonna go to the hardware store, find some of those uh, little bolts in, in black so they look better, not rusty. And I'm gonna take the M3 and we'll see the wing in the rear view mirror. And it's gonna look so sick. Dude, you guys see that? Damn, there's a big wig back there. Woo! I'm so hyped right now. Damn, it looks so good. All right, Managed Miners, Ace Hardware, let's grab those bolts. All right, just picked up the four new bolts, washers. Let's go back to the house and put it on, and it'll look, it'll look definitely look, not a lot better, but it'll look better. So I came to this hotel, kind of by where I live, to get some thumbnail shots of the M3. Look how beautiful it is. The bay right here. Hi, it looks so good. Got some nice thumbnail shots of the M3. And I just came here for a little pit stop. Now I'm gonna put these on at the house. These get these old rusty ones out of there. But first, I'm gonna go to this new sandwich spot right down the street, get a sandwich, go back, eat, then put those on, then close out the video. See you guys in a sec. Alright, we got the M3 out here by the street because it's still it's still leaking oil. I think it's just residual, but I don't want to get it on my parents' driveway. When I was working on there earlier, I had that cardboard box, if you see right there. So we're just gonna do it right here. It's an easy job. Let's get it done. Let's get these nasty, rusty ones out and then put this nice new hardware on there. All right, so there's after and over here before. You can't, maybe, I don't know if you can tell really on camera, but they're really rusted and nasty. So this new one, way nicer. So let's get the other side done right now. All right, all the hardware is on. Look how good this thing looks. I almost don't mind the double wing, even though in the new wing, the smaller one comes in, I'm gonna replace it, but, dude, this thing looks so sick. That track look and track purpose built M3 is really coming along. I'm super stoked with how this is coming out. All right, one last look at the GTS. Oh, Ricky, is that you? <laughs> so stupid. One more look. One more look. I'm so happy with it. Gosh dang. Dude, this thing literally looks like a race car. <laughs> Whew. I'm so happy with it. It's kind of crazy. We were on the freeway just now and you can literally feel the wing back there. Like you can literally feel it. Like, it's hard to explain, but you can literally feel it working. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, we are back home now. And I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. It was super fun to make. The M3 looks so good. I can't wait to actually test this out on track. Hopefully soon, hopefully next month we can get out there. Now that the summer is leaving us, it's starting to cool down here in California. We can finally get back on track. But if you did enjoy today's video, please like the video, subscribe down below, leave me a comment on what you think of the wing. It is the road to 10,000 subscribers. We're 70% of the way there, so if you haven't already, please go down there, support your boy, subscribe to the channel. Also, next video is gonna be a banger. We got, I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but a lot of automotive YouTubers, every automotive YouTuber pretty much makes one of these videos and they usually do super, super well. So I'm hoping mine does good. It should be a really fun video, should be sick. And just like that, this video is over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.